Rob, a common theme that we're seeing in boxing is fighters saying they're battling with mental health. You got your Ryan Garcia, uh, Tiafima Lopez, Danny Garcia, Adrian Broner. And it, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like male fans, men, <laughs> it are, are too, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sympathetic. Yeah. They don't show empathy. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, mental health is a serious issue. So, you know, even though a person can suffer from depression, that's still covered under the American Disabilities Act. So it's ADA. And then you can still collect a disability check based off your depression. Mm. So what happens is, since depression is like the bottom of the totem pole, nobody really respects depression. It's like, why are you depressed? You know what I mean? There's millionaires, they're fucking depressed. There's billionaires, they're depressed. You know, you think Jeff Bezos got a divorce and he lost billions of dollars, you don't think he's gonna be depressed for losing all that bread? Look at Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley just got a divorce and his ex-wife get to take his belts. So something that he trained his ass off for, you get to take and probably auction off. So that ain't cool. I think mental health is something that should be taken more serious in boxing because you don't understand what a boxer go through. No one knows unless if you've been in an actual camp. You physically have to go through an actual camp, a full camp, to understand what goes through their mind. So you have a fighter who sacrifices his intimacy with his family. You know, he has uh, uh, childlike issues, financial issues, and you, you don't know. You don't know. So. They come in here and it's like, oh, he'll be all right. Oh, no, he'll be all right. You don't know what the fuck that man going through. So, of course, it's going to affect him. You know what I mean? A fighter's going to fight regardless. So, if you threw the gloves on any fighter and he's going to rumble, he's going to rumble whether he got something going on or not. The problem mm -hmm. is no one gives a fuck. And that's the problem. So, the public takes it and it's like, oh, he shows weakness or he shows this, he shows that. For real, for real, you're not paying my bills, so fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody who goes through certain things, I think in boxing, it should be honored more. I think there should be some sort of uh, health break for people to try to get some sort of help, mental health-wise, for people to, to, to go get therapy to see what it's like. Most people going through with depression after they get knocked out. They don't know what it's like to get knocked out. So, they go in there and then they freaking the fuck out and then next thing you know, they can't bounce back. Then you got coaches. Coaches go through that shit too. Coaches go in there and they they have the, they got more pressure than the fighter do honestly because you're in the you're in the light your instructions is what's go, your adjust, instructions adjustments and training camp is what's going to help your fighter win so you make any bad mistake it can cost you your job it can cost you your reputation it can cost you everything so fighters go it can through, cost you your fighter's life it could cost anybody anybody you know what I'm saying Wilder fired somebody because they threw in the towel because they thought it was right for him to throw it and he fired that man he did what he was supposed to do you know what I mean. And then there's other fighters that do that. What's sad is that most people, they don't they don't honor what mental health really is. So even coaches go through it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I go through it. And many, I know a lot of people that go through it. I go through this shit all the time. I've been going through depression since fucking years. You know what I'm saying? You think these tattoos are premeditated where I'm like, oh yeah, give me that tattoo that looks cool. Put it on my neck. No, there's meanings behind all my shit. You see what I'm saying? But nobody gives a fuck. So at the end of the day, because you know that no money cares, you're scared to speak up. So you need a good, strong, supportive system for people to get together and say, yo, what's going on? You know what I mean? I had fighters. I remember getting a fighter ready for camp. And I can't mention his name, but I was getting I was getting this guy ready for a fight. And he was going through so much shit in his head. And um, he wasn't getting no sleep. Nothing. He wasn't getting any sleep. So I noticed it during his camp. And I said, yo, what's going on? He's like, Rob, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been sleeping. I've only been sleeping one hour, two hours. And I'm getting jigs of it. You know what I'm saying? So as time went on, I said, go get sleep. So I recommended some like melatonins or anything that'll help him with his sleep. Mm -hmm. He slept better and he, he, he was rock. He slept for like 12, 14 hours. You know what I mean? And he felt so good afterwards. But if you're not self-conscious to really look at certain things like that, then... It's fucked up because fighters go through a lot of shit, man. Fighters go through it. Members go through it. Coaches go through it. Yo, everybody goes through that shit. So shout out to Danny for even being man enough to be in the camp and then saying it. And then he didn't give a fuck how he cried, when he cried. Like, he got so many people supporting him. But then Adrian Broner asked for help. You know what I'm saying? He put it on his gram. Uh, Ryan Garcia. Uh, uh, Tyson Fury. I mean, it's a real thing, man. It's a real thing. I think people need to take it a little bit more serious. That's all. Okay.